Hello, hello. So this is a walkthrough of the app, how it works, where to find everything, and also a little bit of insight into the functionality behind it. So the first thing is that this is your daily overview. This will have any workouts for the day, any tasks and any habits. It will also have links to the tracking stuff down here and the community forum. So let's get started with the workout portion. If you click through here, what you'll find in this description up top is just an overview of your workouts. So if we're in a specific block, what the focus for that block is, if there is one at all. Here you've got your warm up, workout. If you click on this little text thing on the right of the section, that will have specific notes of the section. But I also believe that once you actually start, it will show you that note when you get started. So if we click start workout, yeah, there we go. It's at the top. Then you just start the section. Now you'll also find videos. Welcome back to Mind Pump TV, guys. I'm I knew that was going to make some noise there. <laughs> These videos will describe how to perform the exercises. I try my hardest to find videos that give really good, clear pointers so that you really get nice descriptive videos. Um, and understand how to execute the exercises properly. You can also click on this little icon and leave a comment on a specific exercise if you need to tell me something. Um, always love a comment. You can also see your history. No data available because I've never done a kettlebell deadlift in my life. <laughs> and then things like add, delete or replace exercise. If you can't do an exercise, feel free to click that and then just to change it for something else. But yeah, if I come out of here, cancel section, there we go. So that's the exercise portion of this. I'm going to cancel this, cancel my workout. Next section is your tasks. So these are tasks that you would maybe only do on a specific day that have been assigned to you. You can click through. This might be something like a check-in if it's your check-in day. This is a link, so you can just click through to the link and then it will go through. Once you've done... Simply just click that little tick. And then as you can see, that's from my coaching app. So I get a notification that you've completed the task. Same thing with stuff like this. This is also where you will get educational content or resources, depending on what we've spoken about. You know, if there's anything specific that you need, whether that be from check-ins or just because you've chucked me a message. And then if it's a PDF, you can just click on here. And just view it here. You can also grab it and download it forever, which is wonderful. Again, one thing uh, that I will ask is if you do have a resource like this and you find it useful or you use it, again, feel free to just give that button a little tap. It just lets me know that you've not only viewed the thing, but also that you found it useful. Next, we have habits. I have completed these as I did go out for a walk this morning. Again, if it's a habit that only requires a single action, you can just tick it off. You can also have a look at your insights to see, you know, what your streak is, what your average over the past month or so, or your general average over time has been. One thing I will say about habits is don't worry about the streak. I know that some people find them very motivating and useful, but some people also find them quite demotivating when they can't do a day. That puts them in a terrible mindset, even though they might have been doing amazing. What I would prefer for you to look at is the average Right. We are the average of our actions over time and our results are the average of our actions over time. So if this is showing, you know, that you're still 80, 90 percent of the time doing the habits that take you towards your goal. That's what we want. You know, we don't want you to be perfect. And uh, annoyingly, the streak thing tends to kind of put people into a bit more of a perfectionist mindset, which we don't want. So yeah, definitely use the average. You can use the comment section as well to leave any comments, any thoughts or anything. But yeah, once you're done with that, take it off. Some habits might have multiple things to them. So this is glasses of water. So you just tick off your cups there. Same thing, insights and comments. And then yeah, once you're done, you can tick it off. You finish off that. Next thing is your steps tracker. So this doesn't actually track on here. What you can do is link it up with something like Google Health. Um, I think Fitbit works as well. This is an automatic thing. 
it just hasn't synced yet. I can promise you I've done more than zero steps today. And then you'll see your trends over time, which is really useful. If your tracking device doesn't link up with this, then you might have to have a manual entering one, uh, which we will discuss. And then you just type in how many steps that you've done per day. If we're doing calories and protein, then this will appear here. This also links up with my fitness pal. So anything that you enter in my fitness pal will show here. Again, one thing that I will say, don't worry too much about carbs and fat. Generally, if we are looking at tracking our calories and tracking our food, then we will only be focusing on calories and protein. Carbs and fat are interchangeable. So don't stress about those. Ignore the, the goal for carb and fat just because again, they're interchangeable and you don't have to go into that much detail. The main ones that we wanna focus on, overall calories and protein for sure. There's a food journal as well. So if you're not using uh, the tracking method, if you're not using something like MyFitnessPal, then you can also uh, track what you're eating or journal what you're eating here. It's nice and simple. All you do is just go up to this ad section you can just add notes if you want. You can also add a photo. So open an album here. I've already done my noodles, so maybe my oats. And then just oats. Um, if you did measure, uh, you can put that here as well. Uh, scoop, oh, scop <laughs> of way. Just anything you wanna write down. It's a bit more of a casual way of, of taking a look at what you eat. Also, it's very useful for me because then I can take a look at the meals and if you want any feedback, I can give that to you via the comments, which is really useful for both of us. So next part, whilst we're here, this little plus icon, if you want to track any other activities manually, you absolutely can. It's not typically not necessary, but I know some people like to do it, so that's fine. Uh, I'll leave the forums until last. The coaching section down the bottom is more of a weekly overview. So you'll be able to see not only your workouts the week ahead, you will also be able to click this little button, this, these double arrows here, and then you can actually move your workout to whatever day suits you. So maybe I want to move it to tomorrow because I know I can't go today. That just rearranges it there for you. Similar with your tasks, you can click through and see your upcoming tasks for the week. And you can also toggle daily and weekly if you so wish. Boop, boop. Habits. Similar thing, view all of them. You can view your current habits, any previous habits, and go back and you know check what your streaks were and all that sort of stuff. Again, just, just data, really, isn't it? Uh, any macros that you have, so anything that you've entered in your food intake will show up here again, so that you can see on a weekly basis, you can get a gauge as to what your average is doing over the week. Um, or you can do it by day again as well. So yeah, really useful, this. Food journal, again, just a weekly overview of that. And if there's any sort of meal plan stuff there. Inbox, typically don't use this, excuse the face, because we'll be using WhatsApp. I just find that WhatsApp is a lot easier. It's a lot more efficient for people, but you know, feel free to use this if you want. And then the you section, again, just gives you a bit more of a, a wider view as to any goals or any metrics that you're taking. So here, if I click through, it will show weight over a month, two months, a year, Again, if, if we're using that and any other metrics that we are tracking or that you have decided to track. You can also click on this bit at the top here just by you. So this view and it will have any notes as to any goals that I've written or that you write, as well as a link to the coaching dashboard. So the, the portal that has all of resources and education that you can take a look at in your own time. I will also point you towards these if necessary, if there's anything specific, because I know that there's quite a lot of information here and I don't expect you to work through it all, especially, you know, in the first few weeks. So yeah, there's a link to that if you ever want to take a look. Let's go back here. You do Activity history, again, it gives you just an overview of your activity history, your exercise history. So if you want to look back on your performance, you can see this and how many reps you've done, which again is really useful to look back and make sure that you're constantly improving. Ooh. And progress photos as well, if you're taking those, you can pop them here if you want, 
and you can compare them side by side if you click on this double thing up here and if you've got more than one. Nice. So, just the last thing, the community forums. This is a place for, for me to post. It's not for me, it's for everyone, <laughs> hence community forum. But it's where I typically post any announcements or any things that I think are useful for everyone. So any recipes, links to certain podcast episodes and whatnot. And then at the top, you'll see a little leaderboard thing here as well. If we're doing a step challenge or a habit challenge, that's where you can click through and see where you rank and where everyone else is ranking on the leaderboard. But I'm not going to click through to that. And then, yeah, that's it. Hopefully that's given you an overview, a better idea as to how to use the app and also as to what is available for you. And also a couple of the important things of, of how to use it from a coaching perspective and what's useful for me as a coach to see any questions please let me know but yeah hopefully it should all be pretty self-explanatory